All right, now ESCOM is making strides in the energy sector. Last week it launched the largest battery energy storage system in Vosta in the Western Cape. Now it's uh, hoped the project will help alleviate the pressure on the national electricity grid. South Korean technology, for instance, is being used for the system. For more on this, I'm joined by South Africa, South Korean uh, ambassador to South Africa now, um, uh, uh, Chul Ju Park. Thank you very much, uh, Ambassador, for your time here on ENCA. Just first of all, in layman's terms, because remember, we, we, we're just learning this energy crisis issue, etc. Just tell us, uh, give us an example, a practical example of how this battery storage will work. Well, uh, first of all, thank you so much for having me in your beautiful studio, <laughs> Seho. Sure. And uh, just briefly, uh, the, this new technology mm. is called BESS, B-E-S-S. And then its full name is uh, Battery Energy Storage System, which means you can use the large-scale batteries to store your excessive energy when the demand is very low on the grid. And then you can release this stored uh, electricity from the battery for, for meeting the peak time demand. Mm. So uh, it means a more efficient use of the same amount of energy. And then it's a good way to decrease the level of uh, load shedding in, in, in terms of South Africa. So mm. it's a good way of dealing with this serious problem in South mm. Africa. And the other one, the other purpose with this technology is about making uh, renewable uh, energies mm. like solar and wind uh, closer to your life, mm. which means, uh, you know, when, the, when we have uh, electricity from the solar and wind uh, power, power, power mm. then uh, you can store the electricity to your battery. And again, when the peak time is coming to you, then you can release this, uh, you know, electricity from mm -hmm. your storage to meet the uh, peak time demand. So after all, it's all about uh, more efficient use of uh, energies mm -hmm. and then make uh, renewable energy closer to your life yes. and, and, and industrial productions, mm. I can say. And obviously this is also going to help with, um, you know, emissions and the fact that we want to establish a green world. Yes, uh, you, you, are, you, are, you are exactly uh, right when you say uh, when we can have a greener, uh, you know, the uh, 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 globe mm. with this technology. I think, yeah. Yeah. And then um, in South Korea, uh, do you use something like this? Have you uh, been able to test that it will work and will it work in our context in South Africa? Yes, of course. It has okay. been uh, testing a lot throughout the world, not only in, in Korea, but mm. also in other parts of the world. It mm. has been uh, tried and then tested, and now it's getting more and more mm. uh, growing quickly mm. uh, to in our effort to uh, for more efficient use of uh, energy and mm. uh, climate response. Mm. Mm. And in case of Korea, the biggest customer is Capco, which is the uh, Korean version of ESCOM. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, another customer, I mean, another consumer of this technology is, uh, you know, the renewable energy power plant, mm. like a solar power plant. And then another one is uh, just a big company which consumed a lot of energies for their uh, productions. Mm. So all of these consumers are very interested in uh, these new technologies in Korea. Mm. And, uh, you know, the, and in part of the other world, such as uh, United States of America, Germany, mm. uh, Japan, and uh, in this part of the world, they are all interested in these uh, technologies and they want to have more, uh, mm. you, know, these, uh, you know, application of the, these technologies. Mm. And it finally arrives to Africa. Yeah, oh, finally, we need it here in South Africa. And I noticed you talk about the interest from uh, the Western world or Europe, for instance, and even your Japan, Korea, etc of having this uh, battery storage system for purposes of emission uh, and meeting what we've agreed to at many COPs that we've met at in the world, right? Mm. But does anything, uh, does um, some of it have to do 
with the energy crisis or is an energy crisis just a South African phenomenon? Or are we cocooned in our own shell not realizing that many parts of the world mm -hmm. are going through an energy crisis? Well, uh, we can say that every country, every society has its own challenges mm. in, uh, in meeting energy demand. Mm. And then South Africa has its own challenges like uh, load sheddings. But, uh, you know, the, I can say that, uh, you know, the, uh, all, all over the world, we are faced with the same challenges like uh, how to respond to climate change, climate change yes. how to meet the uh, always growing uh, demand of electricity. So uh, in case of uh, Korea, you know, uh, I, of course, uh, South Africa is also very much interested in introducing these new technologies for, for dealing with its own challenges mm. in energy sector. That's the reason why ESCOM, you know, the, uh, would like to find the partners in introducing this technology into South Africa. Mm. And uh, one of the partners, as one of the partners, Korean company, Hyosung, yes. uh, Heavy Industries is selected in 2022, in May. And then Hyosung uh, just finished the first, very first, uh, you know, the best uh, technology uh, in South Africa. Mm. That's the reason why I visited uh, together with the uh, Minister of uh, Minister Pravin Gordon. Yes. Uh, and then Premier of Western Cape, and then the Chairman of the uh, ESCOM Board, mm. uh, together to to join the opening ceremony of the very first uh, best technology station mm. in in Africa, actually. Mm. So, so, you know, you mentioned, and I think it's very important that there's a Korean company that's also involved. Um, or, you know, just talk to me about the importance, especially as an ambassador, of collaboration, not mm. just between government and uh, business, but also countries to help each other. Yes, I think, uh, you know, the, it is quite a great uh, honor and pleasure for Korean company mm. is able to have a partnership in in first delivery of this new technology to to Africa, mm. especially to South Africa. I think this is a very good example of uh, uh, economic cooperation yes. uh, for uh, two countries. And then I want to see more cases mm. of this kind of collaboration. And then now Hyosung just finished the, uh, this project uh, in time, which mm. means without delay. Yes. And within budget, which means uh, uh, Hyosung doesn't ask any more, <laughs> you know, the extra cost for this budget. You know, those two words are very unique to South Africa. We never hear them a lot uh, in time and within budget. We never hear them a lot, especially with our energy crisis. But I won't get you into that. When, uh, Ambassador, do you think we'll start, uh, for instance, uh, benefiting from what was launched this week with yourself and Minister Pravin Gordon? When do we start seeing the results as South Africans? Well, uh, I can say that the benefit already uh, with us in South Africa because the first uh, station mm. with best technology mm. is already connected with the grid in Worcester, yeah. Western Cape. Mm. Uh, and then now the uh, two other projects in KwaZulu Natal. Mm. Uh, one is uh, Pangola, and the other one is Ellen's Cove. Uh, the project is going on uh, together the same with the same partnership between Hyosung and Eskom mm. under the uh, support by the uh, Department of Public Enterprises and my government. Mm. So uh, next year you will have more. Uh, stations with these technologies, which means you will have more benefit. Yeah. And then this this one will help uh, us to have more efficient uh, use of uh, uh, same amount of energy, energy, and mm. then bring closer renewable energy to us. Mm. Ambassador Chul Zhu Park, thank you so much for your time and coming to speak to us to explain a little bit further. I mean, we're still learning here in South Africa exactly what is going on. What are some of the um, things that government is putting in place, partnerships, etc., to sort out the energy crisis? We are still at the moment, just to remind you, we are on stage two and at around four o'clock, it'll move up to stage three.